we got? Got the the rifles been all cleaned up. Now this is at 1861, 1851 Springfield. 69 caliber smooth bore that I've been working on. I've gotten the the grit and stuff off of the stock, got it looking good, got the barrel cleaned up. Now I didn't polish these parts, I just cleaned them, cleaned them thoroughly. Got all the gunk out of the back of the lock. Nothing's in the way there. Uh, I'm gonna put, the, put it all back together this morning. Still got a, still got a block in this breech. Um, it's right down at the bottom, so what I'm gonna do is um, put it together pop a couple of musket caps on it, see if it'll jar it loose. Maybe even put a little bit of 4F priming powder under that nipple, see what happens. But uh, if I can't get that unblocked, there ain't but one thing left to do, and that's to take a torch and heat this barrel up and try to get it out. I, I hate to do that, cause a lot of times it mars up the metal. Just bad situation. But uh, if the gun never shoots again, at least it'll be a nice piece to talk about and look at. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll get it all put back together here this morning and pop a few caps on it, see if it'll jar that little bit of dirt, debris that's down that barrel. I've tried everything soaking and I can't get it <coughs> any loose, but uh, we'll see. Get it all back together. First thing I'm going to do, put the trigger guard back on the right way that it goes, where the swing works. It's got the swivel to the front where it belongs on the swing. Get the butt plate back on first. We'll start the back. Work our way forward. All right, now I, I like to take and oil the back sides of all these parts as I'm assembling it. Because uh, hopefully it won't, won't be coming off for a while. Trigger assembly together. Trigger guard, trigger assembly, it's all one unit. Got oil on the back of that. If you notice, these old screws, how coarse they are. 
I guess that was to make it easier to field strip, you know, the guns. Because they, they, they go in at a real rapid rate, more so than the modern wood screw we have that we use, you know, today. Okay, next goes this in, the uh, plate, what your screws go through for holding the lock. Pretty simple, just drops in. All right, I'm gonna take the back side of this lock, all her up good. Put it all in there. Like I say, it uh, hopefully it won't become a part for no time soon. Tongue screw, not the bolt screw for the lock. There we go. And anytime you put a muzzle up together, new or used, or oh, whatever, after you've screwed the lock in, we'll make sure everything functions quite well. But sometimes these screws have to be tweaked a little bit, loosened, and tightened. All right, now, all right, now we're going to drop our barrel in. I'm going to spray a little bit of oil down in there. These stocks are thirsty when they're old like this. And we don't want to pull the oil off the barrel. We'll put the barrel back in. These, uh, the way these stocks were preserved was with linseed oil. They would make the stock, get it all fitted and ready to go. And do them, you know, this is a production gun, so they would do a bunch of them at one time. And then they would put it in a vat of linseed oil and heat it up to a certain temperature, which temperature I don't know. But they would heat that sucker up and put, it was a giant pressure cooker. And the linseed oil will burst into flames when it reaches a certain temperature. Well, them old boys knew that, so they knew where to keep it at but they would literally cook, literally cook these guns for 30 days in that pressure cooker, these stocks. And that's why you can get your hands on a 166 year old gun and it still has a decent stock on it. These guns were made for the battlefield. They done everything they could to make sure they were gonna last. I use linseed oil quite a bit on my stocks nowadays. Of 
I don't have a giant pressure cooker. But I took and uh, what I like to do is take uh, paraffin wax and linseed oil, heat it up. You gotta be careful now, but you heat it up on this little stove somewhere outside, preferably. And if it starts to smoke, you get it off the fire, because when it starts to smoke, it's fixing to light off on you. But you want it just before ignition, so to speak. And then you put it on your raw wood hot. You paint it on with a brush. And with it being hot, like that, the wood just sucks it in. Now what's nice about that, with the, with the linseed oil wax finish, whenever you get a divot on your gun, a couple of days, it darkens right on up and don't show. It's not like a varnish finish, because the oil is down in the wood and it'll come back out. Now, we got that on, so we'll start sliding the barrel bands on it and this bed boy will be put together. I will pull that inside of that real good. Backwards, I go right this way. Yeah, that's more better. There we go. The rings are actually tapered to fit this tapered barrel. All Pin right there goes to a hole. Finishes that up. All right. Well, she's all back together again. And I'm gonna be back just going for just a second while I get set up to see if we can. Um, Hopefully blow that little piece of debris out of that chamber. All right. 